This is part three of the three-part series of what is on the AM portion of the Civil Engineering P exam. I am going by the list that is published on the NCES website, the specifications. So we're on number five, hydraulics and hydrology. Uh, number five A, open channel flow. You need to know Manning's equation. This is the most important equation you need to know for the water portion. Energy equation, continuity equation, and the orifice equation. Right? Um, B, stormwater collection drainage. You need to know uh, how to calculate for culverts. The equation would be Q equals uh, discharge coefficient C times area A times square root of 2 gravity times height. So this is actually tested quite a lot on the exam. I did not expect this, right? Don't underestimate it. Uh, sea storm characteristics, you need to know uh, the probability and frequency, and they're inversely proportional, which means property probability equals one over frequency. Um, D, you need to know runoff analysis. So this is uh, the rational method, right? Which is uh, peak flow Q equals CIA. Uh, you also need to know the NRCS method, which is uh, another equation for calculating runoff Q. You also need to know how to read the hydrograph, right? Hydrograph is the y axis is flow Q, unit is CFS, cubic feet per second. The x axis is uh, time of concentration. Uh, in minutes or hours. So the time of concentration is the amount of time it requires for water to flow from the most water remote area to the outlet. So most of the time it will be a pipe. Um, e, detention retention ponds. Detention means temporary storage. Retention means permanent storage. There's an equation for water storage. You need to know that. F, pressure conduit. So pressure conduit is basically closed pipes. Right, uh, open channel is a trapezoid most of the time. Closed pipe is a circle. You need to know Hazen Williams and Darcy Wispatch. So these two equations sometimes they will actually give you which equation to use because they are uh, multiple formats for these equations. Uh, they both calculate for the head loss. For Darcy Wispatch, you need to read the Moody's diagram in order to use it. For Hazen Williams, it's more straightforward. <clears throat> G, energy continuity equation. So energy equation will be the Bernoulli's equation. Uh, the energy on one pipe, on one side of the pipe, equals energy on the exiting side of the pipe. Right, often the pipe is at a slope. Uh, continuity equation, conservation of mass equation is uh, Area times velocity equals area 2 times velocity 2, um, the easiest equation that you can ever use. Moving on to number 6, geometrics. Geometrics is transportation. So A is circular horizontal curve. Right, horizontal curve. Uh, solve for the length, solve for radius, uh, could be solving for the beginning curve, right, or end curve. Beginning curve is station PC or end curve station PT. Two, basic vertical curve. So vertical curve, you can be solving for uh, elevation, rate of change, uh, lowest point, highest point, right? Vertical curve is a little bit more difficult than the horizontal curve, but uh, for the AM, it's very easy. C, traffic volume. So basically, uh, traffic count, um, peak hour factor, right? Average traveling speed, so geometrics is the easiest um, points you can get on the AM, so um, you don't need to really study that much for transportation. Uh, seven, materials. So materials is soil mechanics, geotech, right? So A, soil class classification. There are several types. Uh, there's an AASHTO one, and there's a USCS one. So for the USCS, it's more common. They're going to give you the percentage of uh, gravel, percentage of sand, and percentage of fines. And uh, you're going to find what the name would be. Right? There's a chart in the CERM. You need to know how to use that chart. It will be tested. And it's a very easy point to get. Don't miss it. 
B soil properties. So soil property, you need to know Darcy's law, right? Darcy's law is Q equals K I A. I'm not going to explain which each uh, each letter means. Uh, you can look that up. Uh, moving on to C concrete. Concrete, you need to know uh, concrete mix, right? Specific weights. Um, so the mix is usually cement, fine aggregate, which is another word for sand, and coarse aggregate, which is another <coughs> way for gravel. Uh, D, structural steel, uh, recognize different types of flanges. Right? There's uh, different types of beams, standard, channel, angle, T-beams, etc. E, material testing methods, uh, specification conformance. Um, this is uh, solving for compressive strength, right? Compressive strength is P over area A, tensile strength, tensile strength, right? Um, F, compaction, you need to know the Proctor compacting test, which solve for the maximum dry density. So for the y-axis, it's the dry unit weight, pound per cubic feet. For your x-axis, is the optimum moisture content percentage. Right, and it's a, it's, a, it's a curve to know the relative compaction, which is the dry uh, maximum dry density in the field over uh, maximum dry density tested in the lab. Okay, so category eight site development A excavation, embarkment, cut and fill. So you need to know the average end method. This is extremely important. You need to know. Uh, Swell percentage, shrink percentage, low factor, shrink factor. Um, for B, construction site layout is basically surveying, so you need to know uh, benchmark plus back site minus foresight is turning point. Uh, C, temporary permanent soil erosion, you need to know the types of erosions and types of erosion control. Uh, there's a chapter in the CERM. Um, that has uh, that explains explains it pretty well. D impact construction on adjacent facility. Uh, this is OSHA. E safety. So this is uh, what's the uh, fill maximum height for different types of soils, and what is the slope for um, for landfills. So that sums up the AM portion of what is tested, right? So at this point, you might be extremely confused on, you know, what I'm talking about. It's really hard to visualize. Don't you wish that, um, you know, there's someone who took the time to actually write everything down, all the formulas you have used, and the corresponding certain page numbers to make it clear? Um, I have done that. Uh, it took me at least 50 hours to type everything out. Um, you can find a sample in my blog of what it looks like. So basically it's 22 pages for the uh, AM morning equations and 22 pages for the PM water and environmental depth equations. So this is everything that you need. It does not substitute actual studying but it does save you time on writing everything and uh, realizing what you need to study for. So if you want a copy, you can purchase it for $20 for the AM and $30 for both the AM and the PM. Email me at themillennialengineer at gmail.com. Good luck, everyone. I'm here to help.